Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of the greatest of all time, TJ and MJ. Be your dollar or save your dollar movie review. Come on in and listen to what we got to say about the movie of the day. Woo! It's ready to roll. Let's rock. Suckers, so train. <sighs> Remember those days, Soul Train, back in the day <sighs> when I was a child. Got to watch that on Saturday morning cartoons and all that stuff. Now we're dealing with um all the stupidness that we deal with today, snowflakes and their political correctness and all the lefty dumbness that we get. So ladies and gentlemen, this is TJ Quake, the Ghetto Gamer here with the TJ and MJ Spin Yo Dollar or Save Yo Dollar movie review. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a little something different. A little something different. A little something different. Um, We normally do movie reviews like on games, movies, you know, all that stuff. Watch our last one I just did on uh, Lost in Space versus uh, The Last Jedi. You'll get to see the good comparison between those two and what really makes a good space movie and what makes a weak ass. You get what I'm saying? Just weak ass movie. Um, You'll probably know where I'm going with that one with uh, this review with Lost in Space, which I thought was excellent. Anyway, so let's get back to the real deal. What's going on today? We're going to change it up a little bit today, dudes, because normally we do do little reviews on movies and and movie reactions on trailers and stuff like that. Today is going to be reaction on actually real life. What's really going on in the world and what's causing all this craziness, what is called political correctness, political correctness, people, that thing that we all look at and go, really? You got to be kidding me with this stuff. Mm. Yeah, the, you know that very thing that's just jacking up freedom of speech and and the right to bear this arms and 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 then SJW stuff. We've been talking about this on all of our you know movie reviews on Star Wars, The Last Jedi, and you know what's going on with all that craziness with you know Kathleen Kennedy and you guys know all that craziness. But today is real life and what this stuff is actually coming. What's what this stuff is actually starting to cause, and I'm about to show you guys right now what. Um, this SJW and political correctness stuff is actually doing it's actually causing a point to where white people are almost having to bow down to black people now I'm just going to straight up say it that's what's going on I it, it, this is what's happening but it, it's so funny that, that you know um you know my white brothers and, and my white brothers my white brothers my sisters out there my white brothers and sisters out there uh, I, I hate to see you guys have to go through this stupid shit because of the other side over there that are a bunch of snowflakes that are under this liberal thinking plot uh, snowflakeism uh, free, my, you know little, little little safe zones <laughs> you offended me you offended me and oh racist racist all that crazy stuff that's starting to get implemented into our movies now and um it's 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 just ridiculous so i thought i'd talk about this because this brother right here that i'm about to show you right now uh where is that brother at yes this brother right here right ter, 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 right, here this guy right here okay he, this guy here is a comedian he's a black comedian um and he's a black trump supporter <gasps> Oh, no, a black man, a Trump supporter? Oh, no. How can this be? Uh, uh, you should be with us. We're for you. We're for black people and Mexicans and, and every other minority. Because uh, our white race is so horrible to what they did to your people. <laughs> I don't need your guys' sympathy. I don't need it. Because to be honest with you, you little snowflakes out there, what, what? What are you guys, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years old, whatever you guys are, ages you guys are now, the little millennials, whatever you call you guys. You guys are like so far gone and so uh, up your professor's uh, bebos uh, that it's ridiculous. And uh, they got you to the point now where you guys are like kissing our black asses now. You're ki kissing that black ass. That's what's happening. And this brother right here, he's about to show you this brother right here. He is about to show you. What kissing, what that does, okay? Because um, 
it's ridiculous what what Starbucks and this is the the, the thing he's not you can see in the picture there. It's a Starbucks uh, coffee shop. That whole Phil, Phil, uh, Starbucks Philadelphia thing that happened with the two brothers who wouldn't leave the store because they didn't want to buy anything. So the girl said, "Well, if you gotta buy, you gotta buy something. That's the policy of the store. So you you, you gotta buy something, or you're gonna have to leave because there's other people that want to buy and they want to sit down in those seats that you're sitting in. And you're just like occupying them without buying anything and." You know, you want to go to the restroom, but you're not going to buy anything in here. That's our policy. You know, she's just following the, the store policy, the store's company's CEO's policy, upholding that policy. So these two brothers say, hey, with that, uh-uh. we here doing conducting business. We got do we doing business. You looking at it just because we black. Oh, hell no. We going to stay up in here. Y'all making us leave. I ain't buying shizzle. Yeah, that's mentality. We all know it. It's ghetto. So how brothers act don't don't try to deny it, brothers and sisters out there we got a lot of brothers and sisters out there that act like that and unfortunately they make us all look bad the ones that actually try to um you know i don't know uh live in society and actually appreciate the freedoms that we have now because of our ancestors and what they went through we know our ancestors went through all this stuff antifa and left wingers and all that stuff because you left wingers you guys i don't know if you snowflakes out there remember this but your democratic party were the first racist party yeah they're the ones that the republicans had to fight against to free us but you guys don't get it because you guys are under the illusion that they've actually changed. No, they haven't changed. They just flipped the script. That's all they did. They changed the script. They 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 changed it up, and now they making all they making all conservatism and Republicans look like they're the racist and evil ones. Imagine how they did that. Mm, some crafty ones, I tell you. My mama used to always tell me, "You got to wake up mighty early in the morning to outsmart them." high elite white men and and people out there that actually have that still that mentality of you know the true racism you know the racism that we really don't see in society as much anymore um but everybody claims they see it i don't know where they're seeing it but anyway um so i guess there's so much racism going on and and so now we're gonna go i'm gonna show you this video with his brother right here because he goes into a starbucks and he lets you guys his political correctness uh boop, bite you in the ass bite you in the ass and it's going to show how stupid you guys are when you guys fall into this stuff so let's go right to that video right now because we got a lot to talk about on this stuff i'm even going to show you the uh ceo of starbucks apologizing yes apologizing to us that's right kissing our asses i'm going to show you all that shiz so stay tuned guys let's watch this brother right here going to starbucks and uh, get his respirations or reparations for black people being treated so wrong in this country and you're going to give us free coffee now who watch watch we about to go inside get my free coffee y'all ready Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? About to get my free call. How you doing? All right, I heard y'all was racist, so I came to get my own um, free coffee. I saw that. Yeah, I heard you guys don't like black people, so I wanted to get my Starbucks reparations not voucher. Our store. What's that? It's not a real thing. It's a real thing. I mean, I'll give it to you. I yeah, I saw that on my Twitter last night. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I need I need a free coffee. I'll give you a free coffee. That's what. I'm wow, she's actually gonna get him a free coffee. What are you talking about? This is justice. This is justice. This is what I'm talking about. It's great customer service. Yeah, I was reading that and I was like, there is no way. Absolutely. This is what happens with political correctness, people. You're seeing it, you're witnessing it. Could you imagine? Never here. Never here. Could you just throw some milk in it? Sure. What kind? Uh, whole. Yeah. Reparations, man. 
Gotta get my reparations for being black in America. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. That's right, witch. <laughs> give us a free coffee. You better give every black person something free coffee. We got caramel, hazelnut. I'll take caramel. Caramel, sure. Caramel. You know what's going on. Is that going to make it sweet? Uh, you want it to? Yes. Okay. This is crazy. Can you believe this shit? She's a woman. Huh? This is what's going on, people. What's your name? I appreciate you. Amanda, Amanda, you are a great. Last day here until the fall. Is it? You're amazing. Thank you. I'm a student at Ryder, and uh, our finals are starting next week. Uh huh. So, this boy is laughing inside. He is delirious. I had to like stop working so I can do my finals and stuff and then I go home for the summer. I wish you the best. Thank you. Dummy. Yeah. You too. Thank you. Ain't that about something? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Like for real? That just really, that just happened just now. That that just happened just now. Did, did you see that shizzle nizzle for shizzle? My nizzle? What the hell was that? So ladies and gentlemen, what you just witnessed right there was a brother who's a comedian actually. He's, a, he's actually a Trump supporter. And he's basically showing you that after Starbucks made this whole big deal about, the, 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 you know, oh, we don't want to look like we're racist. We don't look like we're racist. Well, we're not against uh, black people. Uh, this was, we're very ashamed. Oh, my gosh, no. Uh, we're going to give out, uh, uh, we're going to do an apology. Uh, we, we, we apologize to those two brothers that, uh, you know, broke our policy. Um, uh, we're very sorry. This will never happen again. Please don't call us racist. <sighs> <laughs> gum, I never knew that being called a racist was, like, so hurtful. <laughs> I remember. I remember back in the back in the day, the real racists they wouldn't have given a shizzle dizzle on you guys calling them a racist, a skinhead. He would have welcomed you calling them a racist. He would have been like, "Hell yeah, I'm a racist. That's right. I can't stand you, black people." I've actually had somebody tell me that in my face, and he wasn't a white dude. He was actually a Mexican cholo. I run into a lot of those a lot of times back in Chino back in the day. Oh yeah, group called gang called Chino sued. Yeah, they hated black people. Mm hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of black Mexican thing going on up there in Chino Sud and uh, with the Chino Sud and Chino up there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was going on. Fights all the time. I didn't see no white people fighting black people, though. I saw a lot of Mexican gangs fighting uh, a lot of black people and so forth. And I had to confront one of them because I lived up there one time. And the motherfucker just decided he's just going to walk up and say, I hate black people. What? <laughs> When a racist is a racist, they have no problem telling you what they are. They have no problem calling you the N-word. They have no problem getting in your face and being all pro whatever their race is against your race. They have no problem with that. So when you see racism, it'll be up front in your face. It'll let you know it. Now, sometimes, yeah, it's hidden behind the scenes because that's the way some of these, you know, CEO people and these, these high elites, they do that kind of shiz because they got to still make it look like they're still cool, you know, with what's going on in society. But if they had their way, they would let you all know in a heart attack that they can't stand black people. And I'm telling you, that's your high elite Democratic Party that's that way because them motherfuckers have never changed and everything. And all they're trying to do is try to start this little race war, this little division that you guys... You you white kids, snowflakes out there who buy into all this bullshit, and you black people out there, you Black Lives Matter, you guys are all about black power, you guys are all about, hey, don't kill our black men, the police are killing our black men, but don't give a flip when a bang banger comes by and drives by, quip, nigga, <laughs> Paru blood, nigga, shooting up your neighborhood, killing the little kids on the street playing hopscotch, y'all never march for that shiz. 
Oh, where's Black Lives Matter then? Nope. So this brother right here, he basically shows everybody that this is where this shiz is going to. It's This is what it's coming to. It's coming to you guys literally uh, screwing up your own race everything you got your white children now thinking that they owe something to black people something they really have no idea about what happened really happened because in their history lessons now they're not even really teaching about what really went down they're too busy trying to get rid of all the freaking confederate statues and stuff like that so they can erase that that democratic party Back in the day, because see, the Democrats don't want you to know who who were the real who the real slavers are. They think that these little kids. Oh wait, well, you don't want to let them know that technically our party was the beginning of the racist KKK. Yeah, peoples, go on YouTube, go on the internet, Google it, sign, find out who was the party. Uh, who was the KKK's party allegiance to? It wasn't the Republicans. No, sir. No. That was uh, your guys' people that you following like Chuck Schumer and all these other flipnicks in, uh, in the Democratic high elite office there. Yeah, and black people are just like, hey, let's go along with it. When Malcolm X, and I believe this came out the mouth of Malcolm X, and you guys can look this up. You can check it out on YouTube. Malcolm X told brothers back in the day when he woke up and smelt the coffee. <laughs> there it was. There it is. Oh, snazzle. These flipnicks ain't for black people. They're trying to keep us on some democratic plantation. And he literally said that. And he said any black people that vote for freaking Democrats are chumps. Out the mouth of Malcolm X. Yeah, you know the brother Malcolm X, the, 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 the Muslim? Yeah, that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he knew what the real deal was. He knew who the real call, the party was. They're called Dixiecrats back in the day. They were the South. All the South was like that. Now all of a sudden, all the South is like, oh, we, we hate what our, our relatives, our, pay, our, our ancestors did back in the day to you black people. And we would never be that way with you guys. And the black people are like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Get behind us then, white cracker. Yeah, that's what they're saying. And they can say cracker. You want to know why they can say it and it not be offensive? Because the way political correctness is now, black people can't be racist. They have the right to say the word cracker to some white dude. Yeah, that's it's okay for that. But heaven forbid, if a white dude says, you know, the N-word, oh, no, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, you'll be jacked up when you say that. You know, But it's okay for us to go ahead and call you guys whatever we want to call you because, you know, you guys deserve it because you're, you're, your ancestors from like 100 years ago freaking were jacking up our people, slaves and everything. Black people don't even realize that black people sold each other into slavery from back in Africa. You guys need to look that shiz up. Find out who the real slavers were and didn't give a shiz about nobody but them damn selves. Yeah, look into that history, y'all. Mm-hmm. Black people all tripping all the time about the white man this, the white man that, the white man this, and so much racism. I don't see nobody moving back to Africa. I don't see none of you black people moving back to Africa, going where your people are. Let's go back to where our people are. Our people. You want to know you guys want to go back there? Because our people back there are killing each other in guerrilla warfare. If you guys heard of the Hootsies and the Tootsies, or the Tootsies and the Hootsies, or whatever they they made a movie called Rwanda on that, actually. Um, yeah, you might want to go see that one. Yeah. Don, uh, what's his name, was in his brother. It's in it. He's in all the Marvel uh, uh, Iron Man movies now. Everything. You'll see him in the next one coming up in Infinity Wars. He's a... Uh, He's got a nice little bad mech outfit, just like Iron Man. So, um, but yeah, D Don Pacino or some Pacino. I, I can't never remember his na last name, how it goes. But anyway, check out some of his movies from back in the day. You'll see that movie that he was in, and it'll make all you black people kind of go, yeah. Don't know if I really want to go there. Yeah. None of you guys want to go there. Mm, and everything. So, but, but you want to hate on America all the time. All this hating on America. So this brother right here walks up into Starbucks and proves to everybody that this is what political correctness is going to get you. Because now Starbucks is all apologetic and saying we're going to, we, we, we want to make sure that we, we do good by the black people. And uh, this was a hor horrible mistake. And, uh, you know, free those brothers. Free those brothers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's what freeing the brothers with. So and then you got you know, you know uh, the little kid gets the coffee in the end. The brother gives the kid the coffee after this uh, you know this idiot right here. Yeah, this one right here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah she she'll be having a job. Uh, she'll be getting plenty of jobs after this. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Anytime a black person comes up and you know wants a product, please give it. Please give uh, that that black person the product for free. Give it to him for free. 
because we don't want any problems. <laughs> we don't want any problems. <laughs> Sorry, black man. Here. Oh, you want my phone? Oh, you can have my phone. Yeah, I just bought it. So it's a it's a thousand dollar phone, and I just got it for for Christmas. Uh, it, oh, yeah, sure, you can have it. I'm so sorry for what my people did to you. <laughs> ah, this girl right here just making him a uh, good old delicious coffee. Yeah, put some put some caramel in there too while you at it. Yeah, yeah, I want milk. Yeah, put some milk up in there too. Yeah, put some milk up in there. Yeah, come on, Whitey. Yeah. But I'm getting my, my, my respirations. Uh, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, always, because y'all, because Starbucks is racist. Yeah, y'all racist, so y'all always blacks. Mm hmm. So, guess what, black people? I guess all of us can now go to Starbucks and get free, free coffees. Because, um, Whitey's going to give it to us. <laughs> this is what it's come down to, people. We're getting down to this. You know what's so what, 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 what's really really happening? See, right now, yeah, we can laugh about this, and yeah, black people can now go over there and, and freaking pretty much do over white people all the time. But let me tell you what happens in the end, in the end picture on all this, you guys. In the end picture, pretty soon, uh, the white man that you guys hate so much, the white man that you think deserve, that tells you that you think does that you think that you should get something from. That they should they owe us something because of what their ancestors did? Well, pretty soon they're gonna start calculating things and they're gonna start going, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting a little tired of this. I'm getting tired of being called a racist. I'm tired of being called that. I'm tired of now I'm always, you know, I said in my last uh uh movie review thing when I was talking about the, you know, um Lost in Space and Last Jedi and I was bringing up something that J.J. Abrams was saying that um, he's got he he's basically made a comment that um, he wants to um, he thinks that more Star Wars movies should have less white people in them now and that uh, we should be more more minorities, which is great. Like I said, but see, this, 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 that's what the whole diversity thing is supposed to be about, right? That's what I thought it was supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about all of us coming together the way Martin Luther King said it. You know, white man and white man and, and, and black man come together and our children being cool and playing with each other in the park and all that stuff, which I thought we already had gotten to. Because when I was a kid, I was able to play in the park with the black kids, the Mexicans, and the white kids, and all of us were cool. Every once in a while, you had a little idiot. That happens. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying racism isn't completely out of the picture and everything, but it's not the way you guys are portraying it. Now it's down to the point where you guys got, it's, it's gotten so bad that white people feel that they have to give us stuff now. And the poor black guys, the poor black people, that, 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 black people, does that make you feel like you guys are on top of the world and everything that we should be felt sorry for and all that stuff? We've overcome shits. We've overcome all this craziness. And now we got to act like we're victims. We're playing the victims again and everything. Man, Martin Luther King is rolling, rolling over in his grave right now. Rolling over in his grave. Because th this is this stupid. This makes black people look stupid and everything. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this brother was making a point. He's making his point that this is what it's coming down to. It's coming down to your political correctness by saying racist this, racist that, you know, Muslim hatred there, Muslim hatred there, uh, Christmas is horrible, Christmas is horrible, you can't say what you want to say anymore, so down with all of it, down with everything, pretty soon, look what it, look what it does, it, in, it hits on your own personal freedoms everything now you can't you can't even work in a workplace without being humiliated, because this brother literally humiliated this chick, he humiliated you. Yeah, you over there making a coffee for him. He humiliated you. I'm sure white people are like, look, so, I'm sure some white people are out there going, dude, this is ridiculous. This is what's happening to our race now? This is what we're subject to? Man, I feel sorry for white people now. I seriously do. Because most of my friends were, were, were white people, black people, and everything. Most of the friends I grew up in, in La Vida Grand back in the day. My boy, Bobby Bowers, shout out to Bobby and everything, who lives in Texas right now. Shout out to you, Bobby, and everything. That was my best friend growing up since, like, second grade. White kid, okay? We were, like, tight and so forth. We, you know what I'm saying? His parents were the super cool people. I, I, I was, his mother was my Cub Scout leader, okay, when I was in third grade, Okay? 
They, I, I don't know what the heck you guys are talking about where all this racism shit is coming from and everything. Don't get me wrong. Yes, we have racism in, out there and there's been people out there that have been, you know, subject to this craziness, but it's like minute. It's like little bits of airy little sprinkles here and there and so forth. It's not a, like a global thing like the Jews went through during the Holocaust. See, that was pure hatred on the entire race by another race, and they were totally dominating them while they lived in that country in Germany and so forth. Yeah, the Germans were coming in there, and the Jews used to live amongst the Germans in peace until all of a sudden this kind of stuff started happening. This political correctness crap started happening. And once that started happening, look what happened to the Jews. You think this shit isn't going to come around like a boomerang and hit all of us black people? Oh, we're all laughing about it now. Ha <laughs> ha, the white man's kissing our asses. Yeah, pretty soon that's going to bite us in the ass. Because what's going to happen is, and this is what the Democratic Party technically is trying to do, the elites out there, okay, is that they're basically saying, well, we couldn't beat them at, at, the, at, at, at basically hating on them. So what we had to do is we had to turn it around and make it to where now uh, we, we got to make the Republicans look like they're the racist and we're going to try to start a little bit a little bit kind of smoothing over into the black club. and what we're going to do is we're going to start up the NAACP and everything a white man kind of getting that going and then we're going to bring in all the black people and then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it around like we're acting like we're helping black people and we're going to we're going to get in these areas but really what we're going to do is we're still going to keep them down down here down here they're going to call them ghettos we're going to let them stay in those ghettos while we still live up here in the high houses and the mansions and everything else and everything but we're always saying hey we're going to make programs we're making programs for all you black people and uh, the republicans don't want you black people they're against you they're against you vote for us we're the democrats we're for you and you black people bought into that bullshit they got you guys' brainwashed so badly, it ain't even funny. And this is the result of what brainwashing does. That white girl right there making this free coffee for this kid and everything is basically, she's basically uh, just going like this. Please don't hurt me, black man. I'm for you. She's the exact type of person that's out there with Antifa up there saying, No KKK, no racist, fascist, USA. No KKK, no fascist, USA. All these little stupid kids that don't know shiz about what happened to black people. They act like it. They, they've been told little knickknacks. They think they see racism everywhere. They don't see racism. You know what's so funny is that most of Antifa is a bunch of white kids, hardly barely any blacks in there, and so forth. And I see them fighting against other white people. Fight against yourselves, kind of like uh, the Civil War. Remember that? <laughs> you, it, it, I never thought I would see the day that white people would actually start freaking hating on their own race. White women marching around saying, you know, white men are the cause of everything, and white men are demons. And white women, you guys forgot, you guys are white. You guys are the ones that birth white men. But yet you're hating on white men? But you birthed them. Your daddy was white. Your mama was white. But yet, all of a sudden, you hate on white people, other white people who don't agree with your political nonsense and everything. And I heard one brother on YouTube always saying, uh, 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 nonsense is, is, is uh, what is it? No sense. There's no sense in nonsense or no not nonsense. No, I can't remember how he said it. But anyway, uh, nonsense is 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 no sense. Uh, you can't make sense out of nonsense. That's what it is. <sighs> Brain got up out of fart. Can't make sense out of nonsense. That's what his words were. And everything. Had to get that out. But um, but yeah, you guys basically are uh, trying to make sense out of nonsense, and basically you're looking at where you're at now everything well this chick here is making a free coffee for a brother who was pick freaking playing a joke because he wanted to see how far he could go and see if these see after this whole catastrophe with the uh, with Starbucks went down matter of fact let's get to that real quick because I want you guys to see how Starbucks is now <laughs> kissing the black man's ass just like that white girl so let's go ahead and show that really real quick I want to let you guys see what what, what 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 the corporate USA is doing now let's check this out I want to follow up on the letter I published yesterday to all Starbucks customers. Gotta let this thing kind of warm up a little bit. Let it warm up here. Bring it back a little bit for y'all. Because, you know, Starbucks. I want to follow up. 
I always got to have problems with this stuff. Never have problems with this stuff. Make sure I get this right. Hold on. I'm Kevin Johnson, CEO of Starbucks. I want to follow up on the letter I published yesterday to all Starbucks customers. and my Starbucks partners regarding the incident that occurred in the Philadelphia area store last Thursday. I want to begin by offering a personal apology to the two gentlemen who were arrested in our store. What happened in the way that incident escalated and the outcome was nothing but reprehensible. And I'm sorry. I want to apologize to the community in Philadelphia and to all my Starbucks partners. This is not who we are, and it's not who we're gonna be. We are gonna learn from this, and we will be better for it. Now certainly as I've been reviewing the situation, understanding that with 28,000 stores around the world, that in certain circumstances, local practices are implemented. In this particular case, the local practice of asking someone who is not a customer to leave the store and unfortunately then followed by a call to the police. Now certainly there are some situations where the call to police is justified, situations where there's violence or threats or disruption. In this case, none of that existed. These two gentlemen did not deserve what happened, and we are accountable. I am accountable. Now, going through this, I'm going to do everything I can to ensure it is fixed and never happens again. Whether that is changes to the policy and the practice, additional store manager training, including training around unconscious bias, and we will address this. Now there's been some calls for us to take action in the store manager. I believe that blame is misplaced. In fact, I think the focus of fixing this, I own it. This is a management issue, and I am accountable to ensure we address the policy and the practice and the training. I'm done hearing this, dude. I'm done hearing your 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 apology, everything. Which is cool, you know. It's good that a you know company will take responsibility when they feel that something's gone wrong or whatever and the situation is and everything. Um, and you know, Starbucks is always always been kind of one of those companies that you know um last time last thing i heard about starbucks was that it any for for employees that come in that are uh or people that are looking to get a job and if it's like say you or or somebody white dude comes in there and the white guy wants to get a you know a cough uh get a job and a guy who's like of middle eastern descent uh comes in there like a muslim wants to get a job well he will take they literally said we will hire all muslims before anybody else everything during that whole thing when Donald Trump was up there saying that he was going to try to ban certain countries from coming in, you know, that we thought might have terrorist um, uh, leaders that may go in and infiltrate the refugees, which is what they would have done. Um, but, you know, most people just don't, well, they don't use the noodles and think about that stuff. So, um, yeah, so then they got, a, they, they backlashed against Trump. Oh, I can't believe he would do something like, oh, this is, he's such a racist. He's a racist. Okay, let's make sure that we, uh, we're going to, uh, you know what, well, this is what we're going to do. This is what Starbucks is going to do. We're going to go ahead and anytime uh, 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 an ethnic person or a Muslim background type person comes in and he, uh, we're going to choose him over this guy here who we think is qualified and maybe he might not be so qualified qualify the Muslim guy and uh, we're going to hire him over this guy literally that's what they said literally kind of like what he's saying in that video there you know he's mm, kissing the butt and all that kind of stuff like that and, you know cool that's great and everything so guess what you know what that tells me as a black man that means I can walk all over your guys' ass anytime I want so I can go down to the Starbucks right down the street and do exactly what that one brother did and get myself a free coffee that brother walked out that store with a free freaking coffee literally and everything so, you know what? Why can't I do it? That's all that's showing. That's all it's going to do. You think there ain't brothers out there that ain't going to do that shit for real? Real brothers? Real the real thuggish brothers? Up? Man, you're going to see all kinds of brothers like, oh, damn, dude, yeah, dog, yeah, let's go do that. Let's see if it works. Watch them do it. Free, free lattes for everybody. Free lattes. Oh, you're white. Sorry, can't give you one. Yeah, but you're black. Oh, you're, you're, you're mixed. Okay, yeah, only these people. 
Yeah, they got a coupon. <laughs> there was this fake coupon that came out. My uh, MJ told me about it. It's a coupon that says free coffee. And it was a coupon. And in the bottom of it, it was saying only if you're black, you can get this uh, this uh, free coupon uh, coffee. I think that was in the, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that might be here. Let me see where that is. I showed it right here. They had that bad boy. If I can find it, it was up here in this little column up here. There it is. Well, that's the coffee thing. But where's the where's the coupon thing? It was like this coupon. You know what? I think I got that bad boy here somewhere in my uh my deck here somewhere. Where is that in my deck? What do I got here? Got that girl there. I got that there. I got that there. Uh huh. Got that there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Where is that thing? That that I, mean, I don't know where it's at. Everything I gotta find. Oh, you know, here it is. Bam. Let's just put that right there. See this right here, people. This right here. We're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Now you can't read this fine print down here, but I got this off of a site that was talking about uh, a fake uh, coupon uh, that came out, um, basically um, showing that they're giving a free coupon out to black people, people of color, minorities, whatnot, and everything. You uh, only for blacks. Yeah, yeah, this thing right here. My wife told me about this. I had to find it. It was it. It cracked me the hell up when I found out about this. This is the kind of this is the kind of stuff that's going around that's making Starbucks look like freaking idiots. Literally making them look like idiots. This right here. I'm gonna get my free coffee. I'm gonna get my free coupon because I'm black. And you guys, you guys have been so wrong to us black people over the many eon years. So I'm gonna go in there and get my free coffee with this new coupon and everything. And you know what? I wouldn't doubt they actually do come up with something like that. That actually might give the CEO a, a little thing. Hey CEO, why don't you do this now that you're kissing our asses? Go ahead and make this coupon for real. Make that shit for real. Give it to every minority out there that gets wants to come in there and want to get one free free coffee. Go ahead and do it because your employees are already doing it. They're already doing it taking it upon themselves to go ahead and give you guys coffee out your product out for free why not <laughs> I find this stuff freaking hilarious but at the same time scary very scary people we gotta really start thinking about what we're doing here political correctness this SJW shiz uh, you know all this stuff is being implemented they'll probably make a movie about this thing, this thing because this is how dumb it's starting to get um, but this is perfect proof of what this brother did I had to show this. I had to put this out there for you guys to see because to me, it's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That, that, that this is what you can actually, this is what it's come down to and everything. Sweden as a country is literally gone. Sweden. Yeah. Their lore is gone. Their, 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 their religion's gone there. Their culture is gone and everything because they brought in so many daggum uh, refugee migrants from the Middle East that they no longer have uh, the freedoms of what, they, what Sweden used to be known for. It's mosques everywhere. Um, it's literally uh, Christmas is done. Christmas is done. Everybody keeps saying, oh, TJ, oh, yeah, that's not really happening. That, they're not really against Christmas. Yeah, yeah, they are actually. This whole thing with all this that's going on behind the scenes is to take God out of everything. Trust me, people, on this. Watch what you see in your schools. Look at what's happening. They're trying to take God out of everything. Go against Christians. Anybody who's a believer in God is already about to start getting persecuted. It's starting to happen, people. Jesus wasn't joking. He was not joking. And this is what's happening. And it, that's what it really comes down to. The bottom line is evil. Lucifer himself, Satan, has got everybody so daggum jacked up, manipulated, and he's just mm, doing this like puppets. Yeah, go over here and do this. Go over here and do this. We got the glow. What the, the, the glow? Globalists is what they call them now. The globalists, these people that have been behind the scenes, the you know the the shadow state they call it in the government now, the shadow government, whatever. Dude, this shit is actually happening, and it's creeping into our movies, which is why people like myself, people like geeks and gamers, John talks Star Wars, a number of others out there who are starting to uplift this, because this is the reason why we talk about Star Wars so much is because we're seeing the beginning of a franchise that was never touched by this kind of stuff, and now it's in our freaking Star Wars movies. It has gotten to the point where it's in our Star Wars. This was something that was a franchise. This was a, a thing that everybody from every race and creed enjoyed. And now all of a sudden they think they got to change it now. Because they think that, oh no, we got to bring all this other stuff in there and so forth. 
Finn will never be a Lando Calrissian. Sorry. Just you guys made him into a doofus. Is pretty much what black people should be pissed off about that. That they made the black guy into the clown. Why can't the black guy be the the, the 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 raw guy? Why can't we? Why you know if you guys are all about this, you know you know Black Lives Matter and black people this and this and that. Well, what, look what they did to the brother in the movie. Yeah, they're talking about diversity, but they made Finn into a joke. When Finn could have been somebody who was, could have been somebody that turned out to be somebody super just raw. You know what? His story started off as somebody like he was a stormtrooper who was a kid that got brought into the you know as a slave and became a stormtrooper, and he was trying to get away from that shiz. Because maybe there's some other alternate path that he actually had and some other shit that could have came out of that. Nope, they make Finn into a goofball. Saving little freaking horse animals on a daggum casino planet with some little Asian girl named Rose, who everybody can't stand. <laughs> they took the love interest away from freaking him and Ray and made the love interest between him and now Rose. Like that brother would have really went from Ray to Rose. I'm sorry, that wouldn't have been my direction. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, just all this stupid political correctness stuff, and that's really what I'm talking about now. It's involved in our movies. It's 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 what you see right there, what I just showed you. That brother, that, that video's gone viral. And I hope it goes further than that. I hope white people, because I feel for my white brothers and sisters out there. The, this the, I don't want this to happen to y'all and everything. But the politically incorrect flipnicks out there are trying to bring your race down to this. They're basically saying, kiss the black man's ass, kick the Mexican's ass, kick the kick any minority's ass, kiss their ass and everything, and give them what they want. That's what they're telling you guys to do. And snowflakes, you guys are out there actually doing it. Like that stupid little dumb girl in that daggum Starbucks. I'm sorry, she's stupid. It was dumb. And everything ain't no way in the world you could have came in there and I was and I was up there at my job and giving you a free coffee. My job that I work at right now would have my ass fired. What you gave free? What? 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 Yo, out! You out! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how stupid that was. But this guy just proved a point, though. He basically said, "This is what we're going to be able to start doing to white people, and we're going to get away with it." Because you guys are so stupid that you guys believe all this nonsense that CNN and CBS and all these other stupid left-wing media stations, news organizations, that in my personal opinion are pure evil, pure satanic, pure against um, liberties and, and what we truly all grew up. We grew up to believe in capitalism. We grew up to believe that you could actually have your own business and, and create your own fortune and fame and everything. We, we grew up to that. And you got people that are business owners who are siding with people that are against capitalism. Aren't you? Sh you should be for capitalism. But you, you're siding with the people who want to take that away from you. I don't get that. See how stupid and illogical this sounds? I think of logic. Think of logic, people. And what happened in that Starbucks store was not logical. That should not have happened. That, that should not have happened. But because of all this craziness that's going on, that's being preached and taught to your kids and schools and in the colleges and, you know, by these freaking left wing nuts and everything, they got you eyes go They got you all crawling on your freaking hands and feet. Antifa out there freaking saying racist, this racist, that, and all the people that they're, they're freaking saying racist, they're white. You white. How you gonna be up there fucking talking talking about you 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 ain't you for against racism? If the way I look at it is, all you white people that are out there that are freaking saying that black people and my, minorities should take over the, the these these positions now, why don't you take yourselves out of the picture then? Just go ahead and end it. Ah, done with yourselves and let go and let the minorities come on in there and take everything you got. I remember Black Lives Matter was on deck on some of these shows talking about white people need to give us everything half of what they got because they feel. That, that we deserve it because of what your ancestors did. How many of you white people out there agree with that? Please tell me in the comments below if you any of you guys are seeing this. How many of you white people out there think you you think you should freaking give all of us black people, Mexican people, my, any minority? To, to, how many of you white people out there think you want you want to give away your phone right now? Here's my phone. Here, take it. You deserve it because my 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 great 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 grandfather did something wrong to your people back in the day. Stupid man, stupid, and everything. I feel, I feel for, I feel for white people, man, because I don't, I don't, I don't like seeing this happening, you know. 
And there was a time back in the day that you know what? I was like, dang, dude. When I when I saw it came out of a movie like Schindler's List, it made me freaking dislike white people. Black people, we were trained sometimes to dislike white people as kids sometimes because we grew up learning that white people were these racist people back in the day. And you saw skinheads and you saw KKK. But then you started to find out that these are just a small minority of people, a small minute, not even a minority, a minute, little teeny bits out there scattered about in the country. Where people were kind of raised up and started to get in the thought mindset of Martin Luther King saying, let's all get along and be cool together. I thought that's what was happening. All of a sudden it turns around, Obama comes in the office and it's like, oh, the white man is destroying black people. What? I, I'm sorry, I, I miss. I must have missed that class. When, when did that happen? <laughs> you know, all, all this craziness. You know, that, even with you know the, the sexes. Now they're trying to say you can't even say a man is a man and a woman's a woman. All of a sudden, that's like the thing now. No, you got to call her, her her Z, or you got to call it Z, or or X, or whatever. You got to call them by these new these new names. You can't say she or he. You know, him or her, man, woman. You can't say that no more because that's politically incorrect. Yeah, people, this is what's coming to our, our country now. This is what it's coming down to. We're all about to be daggum jacked up by the stupidity. And that video that I just showed you is the beginning. That's just a taste of what's going to happen. That's a taste. And if you guys aren't waking up seeing this shit, if that video ain't enough to see you, make you guys go, hmm. This is kind of a strange, you know, everything. That, it ain't going to stop with that little Starbucks thing where that guy came in there and did that. You think it's going to stop there? It's going to get worse. It's going to become crazy. Trust me on this, people. You guys are headed to a place called hell on earth. It's about to happen right here in our country. Our country used to be a country where you could say, you know, Merry Christmas. Oh, you know, that offends me. You can't say that. That offends me. Since when? Since when? Because I remember growing up, I never ever had a problem. We had a discussion about this over a family dinner one time and everything. And the thing that was cracking me up is like, you know, some of us were saying, well, no, TJ, you can say it. It's not that, you know, you know, I never feel that, you know, but in certain situations, you just be, you know, co you know, want to be correct. And you don't want to hurt people's feelings. Bro. So you, you kind of you'll send these people the, the happy holidays and you'll send these people this and everything because you don't want to offend anybody. I, I, I never grew up with that thought. I never thought that when I was a kid growing up all the way through high school that saying Merry Christmas was going to offend somebody. That was never even a thought process and everything. Whether you were Jew, Mexican, Muslims, I had friends who were Muslims and, and, Eric, and, and I could say Merry Christmas and I never heard anybody get mad about it. All of a sudden, Obama becomes president. It's a problem. All of a sudden, all these daggum flipnecks that come into our country and everything, which I don't mind. Hey, you want to come here and be American? Be American. Cool. Leave that other shiznit back behind, though. You want to come here and be American? You want to be part of our society? Part of what we do? Cool. I welcome you. Become an American. You know? Say America's great again. What's wrong with that? Oh, it's a sin to say America's great again. Well, for you people that don't like America, why the hell are you here? What? Why? If this is a problem for you, why did you come millions of miles... Fly over freaking continents and shiz to come to a country that's racist. I don't get it. Everything. So my 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 thought, and this is what I'm just gonna leave you guys with, is that you guys need to wake up, dude. See what's happening. My white brothers and sisters out there and everything. My black brothers and sisters out there. You know, let's get back to where we were before. I don't remember us having a problem. I'm in a band, you know, that you that you know, we play for everybody. Mostly white people come to our shows. A lot of black people weren't showing us love. You know, to be honest with you, I'm in Orange County. You know, all they want to hear was, you know, the thug life, you know, that kind of shit. That, that's what made black people be cool. But when they, were, when they wanted to hear some real funk instrumentation that, that came from, you know, back in the day. Oh, that's kind of weird. Uh, the white people loved it. Everything. So I don't have no problem with white people at all. White people are some of the, pe the coolest people that I, can, that I know of. Don't tell that don't let me don't get me wrong. I got a lot of black my black my black brethren and sisters out there. I got a lot of them out there that are just as cool and just as down to earth and raw and cool and down with me and so forth, you know. We don't have no problems. But all this political bullshit that's coming around now, ah, you guys gotta end that shiz, man. It's freaking killing us. It's killing us. 
And it's doing stupid shits like that where that guy can walk into a daggum Starbucks store and say, I want my freaking free coffee because I'm black and you guys are racist. Give it to me. Okay. Here. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be hurt. Please, black man, don't hurt me. I'm not racist. Oh, no, not here. See, homegirl girl, she's like, oh, is that a thing? Oh, it is? Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. No, yeah. Well, no, we're not racist here. <laughs> It's like people, like the way, being called a racist nowadays is just be like, it's like, it's the new harshest thing to be called. It's just like as bad as being called the N-word. You call somebody a racist, like, it's like you calling a black person, you know, the N. So, that's where I'm just going to leave off at. I know this is kind of, I went on a rant with all this craziness and so forth, but sometimes it just needs to be said. Um, you know, this is what's sleeping into our movies and, and TV shows. And I'm glad Roseanne Barr made her show that was politically incorrect and and got the best ratings ever. Because that shows to you right now that a lot of people in America are starting to wake up. They're starting to wake up to the nonsense, to the stupidness that we just saw right now and everything. Wake up, people. Wake up is all I'm saying. Please wake up and know good and well that the real bottom line is what this really comes down to is they are trying to destroy our faith in God, Jesus Christ. They are trying to eliminate it. And if you don't think I'm correct on this, just look around you. Just look what's happening in society and everything. You will see that is exactly what's happening. Trust me on this. This is TJ Quake, the Ghetto Gamer. Uh, I'm out of five. May the funk be with you, my brothers. <laughs> oh, by the way, can, can, can you guys subscribe? Sub, sub, subscribe. Subscribe. Leave you guys' comments down below. We love to hear from you. And subscribe to our channel if you think this is what you like to hear more of. Oh, daggum, what's all that about? <laughs> TJ and MJ, spend your dollar, save your dollar uh, movie reviews. And uh, on this review here, on that video, I give that a spend your dollar. Ah! <laughs>